What's on guys, welcome to another Inform Analysis, this time it is Celtic and England, wait, English striker anyways, Gary Hooper, he joined Celtic from Scunthorpe many years ago and he's been superb ever since, scoring goals for fun in the SPL. Now, his price is very, very cheap for this Inform card, it's close to the discard price actually, on both consoles, 12,000 Xbox 360 and 10,800 on the PS3. It's got a free star weak foot with two star skill moves. Now there's not any stat really that jumps out for me from there. Maybe his pace, but again the pace isn't even that good. He's shooting his woeful 72 when he's a striker. That's just that's a big no-no for me. His heading's good, but he isn't really that tall. Anyways, into the squad building side of things. We have went with a kind of championship English kind of it's not a hybrid. Just like a mix anyway, Wilfred Zaha is right forward, very very good on this game, I definitely recommend him. At left forward we have went with, simply to get 99 chemistry, and a 9 player chemistry is Lloyd Dyer of Leicester City. Into the midfield now we have Goburn, Whittenham and Austin, basically superb, all of them in the championship, Goburn. 90 pace and he's about six foot two he's like a wrecking ball just running through the midfield austin again he's pacey he's strong he's perfect for that center mid position and whitnam on the right hand side if you cut inside with that left foot you'll score all day long richie delat is our right back very pacey leicester fullback in that center back we have zucchini and miocolo miocolo of wolves a french guy and Zucchini of Peterborough. Again, very fast, pacey defenders from the championship. And speaking of fast, can't get any faster than White of Leeds United. Something like 91 pace, the guy is rapid. Jack Butland is our goalkeeper. Now we turn our attentions back to Gary Hooper. And these are his in-game stats. Skill attributes, uh, ball control, Okay, <laughs> he's finishing, it's a lot better than his card anyway, 88 finishing, that's pretty decent. But there's really nothing to get psyched about there really. <laughs> Again, 5 foot 9, he's good in, he's good at, well they're pretty decent stats, his physical attributes anyway. His strength, pretty okay, attacking positioning, standard I'd say for a striker, he does score. In the first game, after this, I don't know how I missed that. Really don't. It's so uh, Why is he not hitting that on his right foot? Don't have a clue. Hope I played him through, but again, from that goal kick. Complete mess up from the goalkeeper. And I, I even messed up with the shot when it came. Because I was lucky to squeeze it past the goalkeeper in the end. So, so lucky. And again, Hooper. He brought me back into this game, really. He put that in there, all his work, Zaha was the one that got on the end of it and I did rescue the game later on, look at this strike from Gary Hooper, right in the far side, I think he got a little deflection on the way, off a defender, because <laughs> it generated a pretty decent amount of curve once I'd hit it with the left foot, I think it hit the defender right in front and went in the far corner, actually went on to win that game from being 3-0 down. Now we'll look at this, he's against David Luiz here, rookie mistake from him defensively and Hooper just nabs in. It's a good finish, I, cu I couldn't believe it at the time, I mean, you're up against David Luiz. So. <laughs> the pace David Luiz got compared to the pace Hooper's got, I honestly didn't think I'd get past him. But like I said, he made the mistake and I capitalised it. Gary Hooper is involved in the final goal, but to be honest, he did not impress me in the slightest. Maybe could have played more games for me, maybe suits in with different players, but I didn't enjoy it. That's why I've given him a rating of 5 out of 10, and that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like if you did, and I will see you guys next time.